That pipe is nasty! In the past, as you know, my videos always included upgrades and I like to do the, oh, the camera. Sorry, pardon me. Pico just bumped the camera down. In the past, I'd like to do before, before an action footage and compare. Before I start anything on the new bike, I wanna grab once a nice walk around. So I always have a reference where it all began, where it all started. Let me take the bike out and do a nice little walk around. I'll throw in some nice beady music so you can enjoy it. And we'll always have a reference point to where it all began and where we're going to. So let me get the bike out. Right, Pico? Let's throw the music in. Now that we're done with that, let's do obvious, obvious upgrade. I don't want to say upgrade, but like modification. Let's get rid of these safe yet hideous, I would say, lights, reflectors, let's put it that way. And these right here. And I'll revert to my favorite tool in my toolbox, the heat gun. Love it and the extension cord, obviously. I took Blackbird out just so, uh, you know, for the optics, it's really good on camera, on video, when, when I'm working one bike, the other Harley's in the background. And for those of you that have been asking, it's quite a few, what am I doing with uh, Blackbird? So guys, for now, Blackbird is staying. Blackbird is staying till I know I'm sure and I'm happy with the Lowrider ST. Wait for the summer, maybe prices are a little bit better. And then I uh, think again, because I want to show you how small my garage is, okay? This can fit two bikes, yeah, no problem. The thing is, I have another one back here. I have Warthog right here, outside. And for now, until, uh, the, you know, until the raffle is over, I have the Sportster, 2015 Sportster over here. And by the way, we're almost halfway there in terms of uh, sales and I do encourage you to go ahead and get some tickets. 2015 
Iron 883. Um, end of May, that's when we're going to be raffling it out. Anybody that bought any item on my website, sticker, shirt, hats, raffle tickets, automatically, any, any item has a, a ticket value entry, an entry ticket value to it. So thank you for all those who purchased tickets, bought shirts, bought hats, bought stickers. You might be the lucky ones. I, I don't like doing this. I don't like pushing it. But you're the guys that suggested to go with the raffle. And here we are with the raffle. That being said, a lot of space, a lot of motorcycles, and very little space. So, again, I'll have to decide what I do uh, once uh, I'm happy or not happy with the Lowrider ST. Let's start heating up these reflectors, the two-sided uh, glue right here on the back. If you uh, heat this whole thing up, the backing, the tape in the back, the glue loosens up and it's easier to peel that off. driving me crazy in and out in and out I go in yeah give a second okay I'll go sleep do your thing do your thing man there you go sleep Nice and easy. Now this one is off too. Let's get the saddlebag reflectors off. Same technique, heat, peel it off, brute force. right way to do it is for me to get a glove because but i'm so lazy i'm so stupid and lazy that's it i'm convinced otherwise i'm gonna burn my hand where's the stuff when you need it just can't find the gloves now i'm gonna use a little rag over here one section at a time so you don't overheat the paint or the plastic of the of the bag. And it's off. And it's off. This one went off a little bit more uh, difficult just because the glue started to break up and then it was didn't go off in one piece and I had to use a little bit of alcohol over here and this is after it looks much better okay we don't need these anymore guys ah much better so that was an easy install easy uh, mod I have more Mods coming on the way, upgrades for the whole bike. It's, it's on its way to the house in the next week or two. I'm gonna be getting all the upgrades. Stay tuned. Let's go out for a ride. So I just finished installing now another 
a little bracket over here by Panavice. It's the company that sent out these items for me to inspect, you know, to, to review them. Again, this is going to be uh, using me. This is going to be, I'm going to be using this for my, you know, video uh, rigging all amounts, have a camera here facing me, facing out. So giving it a try it was very easy to install. What I like about it is actually the color, the color and the quality really meets the expectations and really fits within the, the quality of this Harley setup. Really, really nice. So, I mean, th there was a ball before with the camera uh, bolt. So I switched it over actually to a ball with a GoPro mount. So I'm literally waiting for John to come over. He's supposed to come over. He's coming over. We're going to go two soft tails for a ride together, put cameras on each bike. He'll put a camera on mine. I'll put a camera on his. We'll do some flybys for the footage. Should come out really nice. Put 360 cameras as well. Get some nice, nice, nice footage of, uh, of his bike. Dude, his bike has an amazing, amazing pipe on it. I can't wait to, you know, to upgrade mine. Uh, as for what I'm going to do, and it's thanks to your advice, guys, whether I should uh, stay um, within warranty or do an aftermarket, you know, stage two, whatever. I think I took some of your advice and I'll, may, I'll do some kind of a combination. I will initially ride within warranty, to, you know, to break it in, make sure the bike is, uh, is running properly a few thousand miles, a thousand, maybe 2000 miles to make sure that you know, everything is good. The engine is tight. No problem. No, no un, uh, unexpected, uh, you know, defects. If there are defects, they'll probably show up in, within the next uh, few, a few hundred, maybe a thousand miles, a few months, you know, in the beginning. Once we know that the engine is good and no problem, then I'll consider doing aftermarket upgrade, probably I'm trying to work uh, some things out to see how to do it. Am I going to do it myself? Am I going to work out with... Uh, uh, make some kind of collaboration with another shop. Uh, checking all the options out, everything. I'm not ruling anything out, but I do appreciate your help, guys, for you know giving me suggestion. Any route you go is is makes sense. Like warranty, staying within warranty makes absolutely sense. Also, you know the other way around, just uh, staying uh, you know aftermarket, not caring about it. Everything is legitimate. Everything is like not legitimate. Everything is understood. Check the comments on the bottom. You see, half of the people pretty much say. It, you know, stay within your warranty and half said, yeah, F the warranty, just, you know, enjoy the bike. Hey, how cold is it? Not too bad. Not too cold, huh? No. Oh, nice matching. Nice. Matching uh, jacket with the bike. <laughs> You're all in style, man. Nice. Not like me, a schluch. A schluch. I, oh, I wear whatever I got. A schluch. <laughs> nice. Oh, you put this on the side. Ah, oh, that's a great setup. Okay, yeah. Oh, I have that. It's easy. Uh, yeah. You know? Yep. That's all you need. You, you can do the same thing. Yep. That's all you need. You don't have to go. What did you put on the. Oh, yeah, on the. Yeah, I got you. you know? Oh, I just noticed I need to take the stickers off, dude. What's the website? Holy what? www.holyshift.us. .us? .us. It's the best website on, uh, uh, like on the planet right now, currently. Best website on the planet? Yeah. That pipe is nasty. Beautiful.
walking home late at night Maybe half past two A little drunk when I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, come on uh. Go so nice and wait give me a second. Go. Oh my power, so much power. Woo! So much, so much power. I want you here with me. Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love. So just tell me if I'm wrong But it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Yeah!